Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my top 10 heroes to use the unknown slates that we are getting from the Dash event. This currency allows you to imprint a 5 star grade hero in order to unlock or increase its level. But before we start, I would like to give you two tips. First, it is always best to use this slate only on limited heroes, and especially the ones from Collabs, because those take years to come back if they ever do, so unlocking their maximum potential is necessary. Second, as you know, we are getting a new limited flan soon, so I highly recommend saving these slates until her kit is revealed, because she may be insanely strong and meta-changer, who you would benefit from her imprint more. Alright, first we have Vildred. The only RGB that I would forgive using slates on, because his team imprint gives 12 speed to all your team members, which is insanely powerful in cleave setups, so using slates on him is a good choice. He can be used in many one-turn setups, even in current meta and also in PvE content as well. Let me show you Vildred in Emperor Arena. Guess it's been a while since I fell in love But after last time, don't wanna mess things up You're so beautiful and I can't deny My heart is always with you Head's always stuck in time Love, let me go Cause I've been holding on for far too long I've been fighting and keeping strong Now you just gotta let me go Time, wash away Every feeling that can cause me pain All these memories I can't escape Can you let them all wash away? Let it all wash away Cause I don't wanna feel the pain Love just... Next we have Edward an amazing bruiser with a complete kit that can work against any debuffer team. He is also insanely strong in PvE content as well, and you can cheese many stages with him. Best part about his imprint is the crit chance stat, which makes him less harder to build and use. I highly recommend using slates on him if you do own him. Let me show you Edward in Arena as well. Third on the list, we have Laia, another amazing utility in DPS even in PvP. Laia's kit is insanely strong, especially if using her limited artifact. She counters all debuffers easily and can be flexible to build. She can also nuke with her S3, which brings me to why you should use slates on her. Her self-imprint gives HP increase, so meaning her S3 nuke will do even more damage. 
I highly recommend at least unlocking First Imprint. Let me show you Laya in action. Um, down to the ground. You're dragging me. It's constantly. No, I, I won't make a sound. I love the pain. It sets me free. It's wrong. I can't make it right. Next, we have Karina, a top tier knight class in PvP and can be used in PvE content like Wyvern, for example. She is extremely powerful because her kit scales with her defense, which is why you should use slates on her as well because of the self imprint that boosts her defense even further. She can be used in many different setups as well, so let me show you Karina in action. I never tell when we say. Moving on, we have two Landys, both ML and RGB. Since both of them are limited heroes, it is really hard to unlock both their imprints since they both need same fodder. So using slates on them is also a good idea. Green Landy is top tier in PvP and PvE. If you have issue with any stage in story, just throw Landy in it and call it a day. She is also very strong in Abyss and Raids. As for ML Landy, she is meta-defining hero in PvP meta. She is also fun to use with a different setups. So let me show you these two in action on the same team. You're pulling on my walls down. I've never been exposed like this before. I'm good at shutting you out. I've always had a way of keeping closed Beating high and I've been calling out your name from the darkness Thinking it's too late If you find it, I've been too much on your plate I'll keep hiding, calling out your name Next we have Lethe, another strong PvP limited hero that can solo teams by herself in the right comp. She is super strong and can self-sustain as well. 
Now you may ask why should I use slates on her imprint while it gives only effectiveness? Well, the answer is easy. If you manage to land Frostbite with her S3, her S2 nuke will hurt badly because it ignores damage-sharing effects. So you will need some effectiveness in order to land that debuff. So if you have no other options, Lethe is a solid pick as well. Now let me show her in action. Stop this world from spinning Like Superman you were the only one to find The strength and all that I was dealing with this life Like kryptonite And if you keep me close Every minute in this hourglass You hold Moving on, we have ML Ludwig, my number one cleaver in current meta and the most busted damage dealer as well in PvP. His imprint is amazing because it boosts his crit chance, which will make him even less harder to build, so you can gain more attack and crit damage. He is super fun to use and can one turn almost everything, so let me show you ML Ludwig in action. Next on the list is ML Celine, another top tier DPS with a unique kit. She also have crit chance imprint, so using slates on her is a good choice as well. ML Celine can be built and used in many different setups, which reminds me I'm actually almost done making a full build guide on her, so stay tuned. So like I said, Celine is extremely powerful and also hard to build, so having more crit chance on her imprint will reduce the gear requirements. Now let me show her in action. Cause I can see you anywhere Cause I don't wanna know I swear I should go on a walk Don't wanna let you down You just wanna know How far I will go Cause you know I won't stay around So let me know Let me know Where to go So let me know Let me know Where to go I wanna find you
Another good option is Deanna. Most people don't know how busted this girl is in PvP and PvE. She can destroy setups with her utility and buffs easily. He also can sustain your whole team if built right, which is why her imprint is important. Having more HP on her will increase her bulk and her heals as well, so I highly recommend unlocking her first imprint at least. Now let me show you Deanne in Arena. Whoa. I'm dreaming you and I On my darkest fears are coming outside We got a billion races We got this melody And you can trust me, baby We got everything Call me whenever you feel alone, baby And when you need to cry, I'll be by your side Call me whenever you need someone, baby And when you need to escape from a thousand fires I'm gonna kiss you wherever you are Last but not least, we have Benamaru, a forgotten meta-breaking unit once. Benamaru is a collab limited hero, and his self-imprint gives him crit chance. He is insanely strong into teams who rely on extra turn mechanics if you know how to set him up correctly, which I will show you right now. Enjoy the video, and please don't forget to like and comment what you want to see next. I'm all the sins that you can confess I'm just your ghost if we're not undressed A part of me wish that we never met But you act like we never Got to waste it in the bathroom of your parents' house Then you kissed me in the backseat of a taxi ride And we said things that were cheesy But we meant them, there were feelings And now you deny it You're in love But you're not in my reality 